We're asked to determine if the given infinite series converges or diverges, and if it does converge, we want to find the sum of the series. This is an example of a telescoping series, where if we expand the terms in the series, we'll notice that several of the terms will be opposites and simplify out. So our goal will be to find a simplified formula for the partial sum, and then if the limit as n approaches infinity of the partial sum equals L, then the series converges to L. So we'll begin by determining several terms in the series until we discover the pattern to find our simplified formula for the partial sum. So the partial sum S sub n would be equal to, well the first term would be when k is equal to one, so we'd have natural log two times one plus four, that's natural log six, minus natural log two times one plus two is four, plus next k would be two, so when k is two we have natural log two times two plus four, that's natural log eight, minus natural log two times two plus two is six, plus when k is three, we have natural log two times three plus four, that's ten, so natural log ten, minus natural log two times three plus two is natural log eight. Let's go ahead and continue. When k is four, we'd have natural log two times four plus four, that's natural log twelve, minus natural log two times four plus two is ten. Now the series would continue, but notice how the last term would be when k is equal to n, which would be natural log two n plus four, minus natural log two n plus two. Now let's begin simplifying and see if we can notice the pattern to find the simplified formula for the partial sum. Looking at these first two groups, notice how natural log six would simplify out. We have natural log six minus natural log six. So we wanted to find the sum of these first two groups. Notice how we'd have negative natural log four plus the first term in the second group, which is natural log eight. Now if we continue simplifying, notice how here we have natural log eight minus natural log eight. So if we wanted to find the partial sum of the first three groups, again, we still have the negative natural log four, but the only remaining term would be the first term in this last group, which is natural log 10. Simplifying again, the natural log 10 goes out next. So to find the partial sum of the first one, two, three, four groups, again, we only have a negative natural log four plus the first term in this last group of natural log 12. So recognizing this pattern, if we continue simplifying, partial sum of the first n terms, we'd only have this first term in this last group remaining, everything else would simplify out. And therefore, the simplified formula for the partial sum S sub n is equal to negative natural log four, and then we'd have plus natural log of the quantity two n plus four. And notice how the limit to this is not going to exist, the limit as n approaches infinity of this partial sum is equal to, well negative natural log four is not affected by n as n approaches infinity, but the quantity two n plus four would approach infinity, and therefore this natural log also approaches infinity. So this limit approaches infinity, which does not exist, and therefore the infinite series diverges. Remember, if this limit is finite, then the series would converge, and the sum would be the value of this limit. I hope you found this helpful.